Well, I'm almost done with this greeting card holder being built for my good friend Dan Rickards. We were running up against a tight time line and um, we're actually going to be shipping this by FedEx down to SHOT Show today uh, for Dan's booth and then after SHOT Show I'll stop by the gallery and pick it up for a couple of days of extra finishing. Probably need to put another five or six coats of finish on. I've already got uh, two coats of um, blonde shellac followed by three coats of oil and I like to put a total of six to eight coats of oil until we have a nice smooth finish. But it's good to go right now for the SHOT Show. This is one of Dan's greeting cards and these will be sitting in the rack along the top and the middle section and there will be a piece of plexiglass behind them like this. Dan will have several cards stacked up along here and later on we'll add the Clearwater Gallery logo to the top of the card holder. Right now I'm going to do the final finishing touches to get it ready for a shot show. We'll put some clear silicone bumpers on the back as well as the picture hanging wire and install temporarily the plexiglass shields. I will be using a uh, temporary double stick tape and later on for the final finish we'll use some industrial Turner's double stick tape for permanent mounting. Dan may actually decide in the end that he wants to trim these plexiglass pieces back a little bit but I'll leave that up to him and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to let you guys tag along. I meant to videotape this over the last couple of days but quite honestly it was two long days of solid work and videotaping would have been a distraction so I've got it to this point and I'll let you guys tag along for the final finishing touches. What we're going to do now is install at about 16 inches the picture hanging hooks. 16 inches is a good distance on this piece. It's about junction of two, one third and two thirds. And what I like to do in projects like this is use this green painter's tape. I like it because it's light green. It provides a nice contrast for pencil marks, makes it easy to find the marks. And then you're not marring the surface. So we'll make a mark at about 16 inches. I use this small square to make a cross at about three quarters of an inch and that is where I will mount this small picture framing hook. I like to use these spring loaded center punches for this type of work. That marks my spot. I'll do the same on the other side and then we'll install the hook. Now a quick little shop tip. Um, as you might remember this panel is veneered. It's hardboard in the center with a cherry banding and then cherry veneer on the front and back. I certainly don't want to accidentally drill all the way through when I'm installing these picture hooks. So you can take uh, masking tape and make a small flag on your drill bit and I have this preset so that I know that I cannot go all the way through the panel. Alright so I'll use my center hole and we'll just drill straight in. And as soon as that flag touches the surface, I'm done. Now one thing I like to do is to run the screw in first. I'll leave the tape in, then I'll peel the tape off and mount the hook. I also like to use some beeswax screw lubricant. So we'll just dip that in the screw lubricant. That gives a nice little bit of beeswax that helps drive that screw in. And I won't run it all the way, just far enough to get the thread set. Now we'll take the tape off. And we'll mount the first hook. All 
I'll leave this hook a little bit loose so that it can swing in with the angle of the wire. Alright, we're set. I'll do that on the other side and then we'll put the wire on. Now I like to use the silicone bumper pads on the back of my projects. They provide a nice bit of tactile grip on the wall for something like this and I'll put one in each of the corners and that'll elevate it. I use some thicker ones here that'll elevate this up enough where the picture framing wire and hook will not be rubbing on the wall or on the uh, holder. The last thing I'll do is I'll put this extra set of five bumpers, I'll put them in a small plastic bag and staple it on the wire so that way Dan's got extra bumpers if he needs it. This wire will be how they can mount this on the booth wall or in the gallery, can hang it on the gallery wall. This is nice thin wire but it holds up to 40 pounds so this will be more than adequate for this project. Now one thing I like to do is slide some heat shrink tubing onto the wire and then after I twist it on I'll run that down over the twist and shrink it down and I think it gives a little more finished look. It also prevents the wire from scratching the uh, back of the project. So let's get a piece of wire out for the distance here. Save that for a future project. First thing I'll do is slide the heat shrink tubing on. Now we'll run it through the hook and I like to double, double hook it so I'll run it through twice. That gives a nice sturdy loop and now I'll twist it. And then I'll slide the heat shrink tubing over that twist. And I think that looks a little more finished, but it also prevents that edge from scratching the back of the project. All right, I'll get this done on the other side, and then we'll go ahead and shrink the tubing. All right, now we're going to shrink the tubing, and I like to just use a small heat gun for that. And I think that just looks a little more finished than the wire twisting around and again it just provides that extra protection for the uh, surface. I'll do that on the other side and then we'll flip this over and mount the plexiglass. Alright, well we've got the picture wire mounted and it's just about uh, an inch and a half, two inches from the top which is a great spot for this wire to hang. And again we've got our protective corners on so let's flip this over and we'll mount the plexiglass. Now I'll be mounting this plexiglass, as I mentioned, with some temporary double stick tape that I've cut to size and what I did is I mounted it on some wax paper so I could trim it. It needs to be just enough to come in on the back of this edge without sticking up. Later on, after I get the final finish on, I will reset the plexiglass and I'll use this heavy duty industrial turner's tape. Alright, so first thing we'll do is peel off the protective masking. We had this uh, plexiglass professionally cut and um, had the edges polished so it'll look really nice. And if I need to, if Dan decides, we can always put some masking tape on this, run it through the table saw with a fine blade and make it a little bit shorter. So that's going to sit in here like that. I like to use a small wooden roller to set adhesive tape like this. 
Make sure that we've got good contact. And then I always keep a uh, small jar of single edge razor blades. They're perfect for projects like this. And if I'm doing critical things, I always just start with a fresh blade. I'm gonna trim this to size and then we'll go ahead and mount the plexiglass. All right, we'll peel off the backing on the last piece of plexiglass. And then we will get this in a box and on its way to Shop Show 2012 for Dan Rickards. And uh, we're running up a quick timeline here. Uh, today's Friday and the shipping limit right now is four o'clock for FedEx. So we've got to get this down to the shipper right away. And again, I'll have to take this back from Dan after SHOT Show and uh, we'll pop off the plexiglass and just do the last little bit of finishing and then we'll be good. All right, so I think you can see how that works. We'll put some cards in it and see. And then the last thing I'll need to do for Dan is attach the Clearwater gallery logo right across the top. This will look very nice in their SHOT Show booth as well as, well, Dan's getting ready for the annual show season and uh, he'll be on the road with the Clearwater Gallery. He'll also be here in Portland so we'll have to stop by and see him, but uh, this will look good on the road and then I think it'll have a nice home in the gallery the remainder of the year. And I've got this extra set of corners here that we'll just mount on here for Dan so that they'll stay with the uh, project. Now the last piece that I haven't shown you yet, and um, again I'll have to mount this at the very end, but right down here is a spot for my maker's mark. I like to put that on most of my projects. Just a little subtle mark made in my shop. All right, so we'll leave that maker's mark off until the end of SHOT Show, but um, after I put some more finish on this project, I'll set my maker's mark in that recess with a little epoxy. Nice little finishing touch. Got a, another little thing. I just I did this on my own for Dan. Um, this is for his friend that he'll be sharing the booth with, Creative Castings. They do some beautiful pewter, uh, hand-painted pewter uh, pens uh, for oh, all sorts of things, for promotional gifts and that sort of thing. And this has one of those QR codes that people can scan with their smartphone and it'll take them directly to his website. And, I, and these, are, these have um, Velcro mounts for their booths and their um, laminated onto a nice piece of uh, finished hardboard with uh, lacquer. So I've got one of those for Dan's friend and then one for Dan as well. DanRickards.com if you uh, are interested in a piece of commissioned artwork for yourself for personal reasons. Also just a great business opportunity to generate an iconic image for your business. But uh, danrickards.com made this for Dan to go along with this card holder. We'll ship those out today as well. All right, well, there it is, it's done. And we're gonna put some cards in so we can just take a look at how it looks. You can see one of Dan's pieces of artwork in the background there. We got a bunch more cards that he'll add to that, but we have those cards here at the house. We like to use these cards as thank you cards that we send out with AMP3. But uh, all right, there it is. Time to box that baby up and get it in the mail on the way to SHOT Show 2012 by FedEx.